a lot of times we get caught up in a worry cycle. Mm-hmm. And I know I'm very much guilty of that. And I think it's interesting. Um, researchers at Penn State found that only 8% of things that people worry about come true. That's it? Yeah. So 92% of the crap that you're stressing about and not losing sleep over and it doesn't Ooh. actually happen. I think I needed to hear that today. Because yeah. <laughs> here we're under a big renovation right now and I'm wondering, well, what if the... What if the granite doesn't get installed in time, and then I have to back up my tiler, and and then when I do that, I I don't I don't have the ability to get my plumber in there, and now we're pushed back three weeks, and if the baby comes soon, then we won't have a place to go. We're just we're just going to be here, and then we got two mortgages to pay for, and all that thinking, yeah. all kind of you know cascades upon one little thing. Right. But the likelihood of that one little thing going wrong, you know what, eight ninety two to eight percent. I mean, ninety two. Yeah. Yeah. So. The likelihood of it coming true. And of that and <laughs> every other subsequential step. Right. Yeah. I mean, I think I have learned and realized over the years that certain things that happen, like let's say an eviction or, you know, a bad purchase or anything negative, it's a temporary stress. Yeah. In six months, we're not going to be worried about that. So. Well, think about what we were stressed about six months ago six right. months ago today um you know we were it was march six months ago today and we had just submitted our book to editing yeah what were we worried about then you know a lot of things but... there was there was so much stress surrounding that book and you know is it going to come out on time are we going to hit our release date right. are we going to get all these other things in line and we worried about that yeah. we stressed a lot about that but today, now we're sitting here thinking like, yeah, I mean, it all came out. Right. It, it, it came out. It was a successful launch. We've, we've sold a lot of books. We're happy. But, you know, thinking back to that stress, it was very real. Right. In the moment, it In is the moment. very real. And we lost real sleep and we lost real patience. Right. Um, and just I looking probably back. probably argued with each other. Yeah, we did. And stuff. So, I mean, it's just, if you can frame the situation in the context of in six months or five years, pick your timeline. Yeah. Will this matter? Most of the times it's no. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, all of that stress, all of that worry, all of that self-talk and the limiting beliefs doesn't just affect, you know, the outcome of that thing. It's going to affect you as a person. It's going to affect your health. It's going to affect your emotional state. And, you know, that can ultimately impact your entire life. Right. Right. Because yeah. if you if you get so worked up and worried about this one thing, and you know your self talk is well, it's it's not going to happen. There's just no way it can happen. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing it, but there's just no way. And and you let's say you worry about that for four months straight. Who knows? You, you might develop a stomach ulcer, which is going to have you know very long implications. Right. You might high have blood pressure high something. blood pressure there's a lot of things that can come with you it. you might interrupt your marriage yeah you might become a partner in your marriage or relationship that that other person's not happy to be around you know you gotta you gotta find a way to tackle each thing that comes your way right. with a with a, a lot of grace and just understanding that it is temporary right we're we're, we're not making you know decisions that are impacting the world as a whole you know unless you're the president and you're listening to this episode thank you for listening